Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring, where we're back at the round table hold. Listen, the only thing I did since coming back here is I leveled up my other weapons a little bit using the uh, the ball bearing, which I got from the crystal tunnels, which you're going to probably see in an Elden Ring explorations video when I eventually get around to it. Uh, since we just defeated Radon, let's go ahead and talk to... What's her name? Let's see what we can... Oh, shit, you can get this. Radon's red main helm. This is... this is. I've seen this before in, like, Twitter videos and shit. Because uh, it looks cool. Uh, it has, like, red flowing hair. Pretty good. Wait, what is this? Radon's... Oh, shit. It's a great arrow. Cool. And then what can you get from it? You can get... His sword... Curved great swords of oh, cause it's two, right? And the lion great bow, yeah. None of the I'm gonna be honest with you, like none of the um sort of boss equipment so far has really sort of appealed to me. That's okay, like there's no no problem with that. Let's just use it and level up. We are going to level up, actually, I don't know, dexterity, I think. With my mind stat now, I do have enough to buff my weapon and also summon the wolves. So we're done on that front. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to the Kaelid Tower because I feel like it's time to power up the Great Rune. Which should now be possible, because this didn't open, if if this relates to Radon, but I would be very, very surprised if it didn't. Yeah. I knew it, knew it. So we'll, this is actually only our second one of these, because I, you know, I was looking for the one to power up Renala's Great Room, but I read the description and Renal's great rune is just the one that you can use to respec that's like the great rune itself so yeah that one you can't power up it's not like the other ones because uh, she's kind of like the four kings a little bit in that she was only given like the equivalent power of a great rune i know i'm like vati pales in comparison to my lore telling abilities, right? Where the fuck is that? Oh yeah, don't. Just be careful. Quite a lot of bonk smoke expected from Radon. Cool. Oh, and there's another one right there. And another one right there. Interesting. What was I going to say? Oh shit. That looks pretty cool. Of course there is like a whole ass dungeon to this place too. Nice. Radon's Great Rune. Let's take a look. Uh, Where does it go? It's key items, right? Raises maximum HP, FP and stamina. What? I'm assuming that this raises it more. Red Radon was among the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen America. Yeah, we heard about this from the turtle. Uh, you know what? I'm curious. Oh, we need a side of grace, right? To switch it out, yeah. I am curious. Let's go back. Because, you know, like, conventional wisdom, why would you use this when Godric's Great Rune exists? But, again, I'm assuming that it raises more of your attributes. We'll check it out. Okay, let's take a look. It's actually the first time I've swapped this shit out. Well, obviously, because I only had one. Interesting. It didn't seem to... Ob ah, I see. 
So this one doesn't actually like physically raise your stats. Hmm. But then, weirdly, then it kind of seems inferior, no? Oh, fuck, yeah, okay. Yeah, one of the things is... No, oh, shit, that damage. I was gonna say, there's a... What the... What is this damage, bro? I was gonna say, there's a whole ass area left here. Like, thank fuck, fuck for that, that saved my ass. Get stun locked into oblivion, and we're gonna do this. Somehow worked, and it killed both of them. Yes, there is this whole ass area here, but judging by how strong these guys are, I'm not sure coming here is the smartest idea. So, I got to a point here, like I was jumping down and down and down, but. I got stuck. I think it was because of this ledge, which breaks. What? Okay, what the shit? Um, am I gonna get stuck again? Cannot believe that doesn't make you take fall damage. Or, hold on a second. Oh man, I, I hate platforming. <laughs> I still hate platforming in this game. I think you gotta land like there somehow. Um, Cause there's definitely more to, wait a second. Was I just blind before? Oh no, 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 we got here, but this is where you get stuck. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. Maybe it's extra pressure because I have the rune arc or whatever. Like I'm powered up and I don't want to lose it. But, but I'm not gonna do it. I think there's only one way to go and that is to the capital. I mean the other stuff is just side shit. But... I, I, I kind of feel more prepared. This dude could still just absolutely demolish me. It's very possible. But I don't know, I just slightly feel a little bit better equipped. Uh, again, it's a little bit strange how much easier of a time I'm having versus the sort of like the big bosses. Versus just some of these random assholes out in the field. Yeah, whatever, let's get to him. Gotta hit up the stake of America. I, I, I'm so curious. At this point, I'm like actually legit really curious. So I'm dealing a little bit more damage. It's probably gonna help. Of course, the... Okay, he's dealing less. Yeah, he's dealing less damage. The thing that was a motherfucker with this guy even when I first fought him, is his stupid second phase. Like, his second phase is insane. When he buffs his weapon up. Look at that dodge. I wrote the manual on horse combat for Elden Ring. Ignore what just happened there. I mean, he's... Certainly appearing more manageable. I wish I could actually get the... Okay, this is where it gets... A little bit more dangerous. Yeah, because he can do shit like that. Jesus, that is so insane. That is so insane. I just realized I probably have enough to level up, right? I'm gonna have to, like, save them souls somehow. That is straight up one shot. Like, you get hit by that, it does insane. 
So it dealt 1500 damage to my horse and I have 1155 HP. So it's impossible for that thing not to be a one shot. You know. And I kind of hate that. God, this guy doesn't bleed easily. Does he bleed at all? Yeah, he does. I've bled him before. And I was stupid not to buff up. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm like literally concentrating harder against this fucker than Radan. Because like Radan didn't have this sort of one shot factor. That's like a whole different game. Once you know that you are just one screw up away from having to restart this whole thing. Because it sends out two lightnings. That's the thing that's like a real bitch about it. What the actual fuck was that? This guy is still insanely difficult. Uh, well, it's it's not the, it's the one shot the one shot thing. Yeah, I was wondering how well my spirits are gonna be doing here and I'm guessing the answer to that is not very well. Okay, use this as well. Oh yeah, I straight, straight up lost the Radon rune, I didn't even mention that. What the? That is so fucked up. Seriously. This is the best I've done. No, it's not. It's almost the best I've done. It can all end in a heartbeat. Just think of that, Mr. Sketchhead. Just think how screwed you are. If you're not careful. Ugh, I really hate I can't I keep missing the critical attack. I've stunned him like three times. Oh, did his lightning... Did his, this lightning goes away. It's just a buff. Okay. I need to not fuck this. He's dead. Not gonna say that was the easiest thing I've ever done because that was actually very, very difficult. Quite a lot of souls for that. Oh, you can still horsey. Nice! Are we actually in the capital? I think we are. I mean, th this has to be where you gotta go, right? I mean, well, there's only one other option. And that option is there is a whole ass unexplored part of the map, which I've not like gotten to. 
this part yeah there, there, there's that part um, but right now I'm just happy to be here and Orlando I'm guessing this really does feel like an Orlando like straight up not gonna lie them vibes are too strong nice this is definitely some like backwards ass entrance for sure I feel like it's gonna lead up to yep <laughs> big reveal from soft big big reveal can't even talk Holy shit. This place does look very, very cool. Like you gotta admit, right? Hey there. I see what you're doing. Yeah, you expect players to be distracted. Not Mr. Sketchhead. This is awesome. <laughs> this is really awesome. Like, Anna Londo was cool, but... Look how far we've come. Get to actually reach that bonfire. This one that we visited ages ago. Naisu, naisu, naisu. This feels big. Um, this is like endgame-ish material, isn't it? Oh, hey there. Yeah, for sure. Yep, I forgot that's what we were supposed to do. Wait. Are we becoming maidenless again? Our wife who is leaving us. No! Don't go! She just straight up left. Damn! Uh, is there anything to go for here besides Vigor? I don't think so. Give me that sweet, sweet Vigor. I wonder what the soft cap is in this game. She just straight up waited. Wait a second. Like We need more Vigor for sure because our wife who straight up left us. Oh, big reveal number two. Holy shit. Landell Royal Capital. There's a giant dragon there. A dead one. Turned to stone. And FromSoft loves their giant dragons. Shortcut back? Yep, of course. Loves their giant dragons. This this place is very cool. Um, what the hell are you? Am I stoned? They're like little onions. Talk about onion night taking it to the extreme. This looks like some like like Sekiro had these types of like goofy ass enemies for sure. Goodbye. Oh yeah. To mention I also upgraded my Misericord or whatever it's called. I feel like that's a weapon I've been like neglecting and you can do shit like this with it especially against these bitches who apparently have zero poise this might be the build to rock here because yeah honestly enemies without poise get absolutely demolished by uh, like daggers and quick weapons like this what the hell are they doing you're so weird. Yeah, so anyways, we're in the capital. What the actual ass is that? Whoa.
Is that a gargoyle, just an injured one? It looked like it, didn't it? Like the thing we found outside. Oh, you can totally... This is gonna be Assassin's Creed City, isn't it? I can already tell. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I'm going a little bit unga bunga here. Uh, it's working. I haven't even... Thank you. I haven't even had to use uh, fucking Estes so far. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Good thing. Listen. Goddamn lightning fast reactions. I haven't been hit by that. Okay, it's just... It does damage, but... This is like... Out of all the areas I've been to so far... This zone... So far, I should say... Like, really highlight so far... Has like the least threatening enemies. I love their movements. I kind of feel bad for them, almost. It's a very strong almost. I don't think so. Why do you have poise? And why do I not have poise? Get backstabbed. Can't beat them daggers. Okay, the game is still only giving us smithing store... Stone? <laughs> smithing store? Smithing... God, I really... I can't actually talk. Smithing stone fours, I should say. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a dumbass. Which means that I'm not so underleveled for this place. And that's good. Hey there. So I was going to say... Um, If this turns out to be like a big major dungeon, I'm going to be really happy because Stormvale Castle was excellent. Stormvale Castle is like a 10 out of 10 dungeon. Uh, I thought the Academy wasn't the strongest. I didn't... It didn't give the impression that there were that many branching paths. It didn't feel as fun to explore as Stormvale did. And then of course Radan's area I thought would be like a big dungeon and it turned it turned out not to be the case it was just the boss fight God, this is this build is really slaying here no I, I didn't want to do that yeah the, what the okay oh I remember you guys you bullshit. From the academy. It's like a flashback. See, it's like I almost knew you have to send the elevator back. Speaking of, I didn't send the elevator back. So we're gonna very quickly fix that. I feel like this is not going to be my final death in this place. I'm... Oh, it's already doing it. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be more like Stormvale. It's already fucking with me, with getting me to explore places. Yeah, this is this is messed up. These are the same guys that were in the... Oh. Buffing, too. These guys are in that other... That castle that I've like not explored so far, but I'm probably strong enough to explore now. This might be better against this guy, yeah. Okay, you're still really strong. Oh, the tracking, though. Oh no! 
This is this is so messed up. Like this group of enemies is insanely powerful. In fact, they're so powerful that it kind of makes me wonder what's up this ladder instead. I just realized that I didn't pick up my souls or my runes the last way through. So I had like 30k there and it's gone. Which is okay because I went through here a couple of times and I have 7k already. So I'm assuming Seedbed Curse. Oh, there it is. Curse grown on a body defiled... Oh, the loathsome dung eater. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the dung eater. A tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The dung eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the earth tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all of the lands between. What an asshole. That dude is fucked up. He sounds like an asshole too. Like, he's he's there in, uh, whatchamacallit, the round table hold. Oh, yeah, okay. I get it. The layout of this area seems absolutely insane. Like, this, we have another Stormvale castle. Are you? Okay, you are. You're just really stupid. These guys, they track a lot, and it's a bit weird that they have poise for being like, a, oh, secrets. All it leads to is insane HP dogs. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? I might be. We're in trouble. Of course they would put, put dogs here too. Couldn't resist, could you, FromSoft? This area... It's gonna take... Yeah, I mean... I'm... What the shit is that? Oh, it's an Earth Tree avatar, isn't it? So I kind of don't want to fight you because it's actually been a fair amount of time since we've had a checkpoint. So we're going to kind of have a look this way. So yeah, I'm like 90% sure I didn't explore like half of Stormvale Castle on my first way through. And this area is kind of giving off the same vibes that you can really, really get lost in here. That is a big ass gate. I'm surprised that this is not a horse area. Oh shit. So many ways to go. I'll explore this bit a little bit further. This feels like some outer layer of the city. The boy just gotta find a checkpoint. Or... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Am I a bitch? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a bitch. There's no shame in making a tactical retreat. I'll just say that much. If we find grace, this kind of all goes out the window. It's an enemy as well, which we can... Yeah, I've played Sekiro, what about it? Oh, please go up. We might have something. 
we might just have something on our hands. This, yeah, you know, you know that feeling. Sometimes you just feel like you've stumbled upon a soul's shortcut, and most of the times it's true. And just because of that, now I don't feel too bad about doing not what I thought. Oh, it's one of these guys. I thought one of these is a boss, except he had a shield. These guys probably can't even be backstabbed. They're too big. Big boys. Are you gonna fucking bleed or what? No, you're not. Oh, don't tell me. How the hell do you have that in here? There's gotta be some space limitations to this attack. Jesus. Is that anime or what? Of course, the delay. Luckily, that has quite a wind up on it. This guy's kicking my ass. Whoa! I don't know what the hell that was, but Jesus. Thank fuck the side of grace is so close. <laughs> oh, it's like a shoulder charge. Jesus, second miss time. I'm... Just kill him. I just need to kill him. Shouldn't have said it. I was one hit away. I, I should have just shut up. Yeah, okay, so I'll be the first to admit that I, I can't beat this guy. Uh, it's just, just simply... Uh, he's following that gameplay thing, which like quite a lot of enemies do in this game. Where they just have like a random ass one-shot attack. And this guy is no exception. Aside from that, he has absolutely Dark Souls 2 level hurt boxes. Um, and tracking and all that. It's kind of fucked up, actually, uh, how messed up his hitboxes are. So, yeah, I I can't. I can't beat him. Definitely not strong enough. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back later. Or something. If whatever he has is even worth it, you know. My experience, it tends not to be. Still, what I'm gonna do is, because this recording is already way too long... I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode of Elden Ring right here. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give this a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all the usual. I really have a feeling that we're gonna be spending a good couple of episodes in this capital. There are already like three distinct zones that I'm sort of detecting. This lower part, the upper part, like the main bridge, and whatever is behind that other gate where I turn back from. So yeah, we have a lot to explore. Thanks for watching everyone, peace out and goodbye.